Hi friends, I'm Danison Fronda, guest lettering artist here with Let's Make Art, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing video for my block lettering box that I created for you guys. And I'm super excited, so let's get unboxing, shall we? Okay, so in this box you will get a cute little flower palette uh, because predominantly my style of lettering is very much treating uh, lettering as watercolor, uh, vice versa. And we will be using this for a lot of our blending and for obviously using our markers as watercolor. So it's super fun. The main star of this box are these Tombow Dual Brush Pens. We have three of them. We have a 515 light blue, we have 985 chrome yellow, and we have 835 Moon. It's actually per persimmon, per persimmon. I never know actually how to say it. So if you know how to say it, let me know. Um, but these three, these are Tombow Dual Brush Pens. They have a bullet tip and a brush tip. If you have been part of the lettering community in the past, um, you are probably familiar with it. But if you aren't, these are great tools uh, to use for lettering and for watercolor. They are water soluble, which means that uh, if you add water to it, the color will move around. So I'm super excited to teach you in the tutorials how to use these as watercolor. And it's great for traveling and yada, yada, yada. Then we have a Micron. Uh, 08 that you will get um, because in this box I will also cover um, projects that do monoline lettering. A lot of people think that lettering has to be the thin on, thin on the up, thick on the down script and all that kind of stuff but this is perfect for styles and if you are more accustomed to using block lettering um, like more print not cursive style then this is a perfect tool for that. We'll also um, get a Tombow mono pencil. Really great for sketching. Um, I use it all the time. And it pairs very well with the eraser that I also included. It's the Tombow Light Plastic Eraser. And it's, it's so tiny and cute. And I absolutely love it. Great travel size. And also it just works very well for picking up lines. And you don't really need to apply a lot of pressure because sometimes I have erasers where I'm really scrubbing at the paper. And uh, we want to be nice to our paper because it's, it's the home for our art, you know? So you get that. And then you also get a fun little Let's Make Art Classic round for uh, paintbrush and this is great for the size that I'm using. Uh, we are using just Canson watercolor paper uh, cold press but I just halved it because this is like my preferred size and I just want you to kind of experience that and maybe your lettering um, you might be better off with lettering on a smaller canvas than like the traditional like 9 by 12 that normally comes in um, or yeah, if you just have never tried it out and it gives you just ample enough paper to do all the projects in this box and adds uh, another paintbrush to your collection because you can never have enough paintbrushes or combo markers. Um, but the projects, now to get into the super, super fun part, I created three projects and we'll go over them right now. Uh, this one is Practice Makes Progress, a uh, quote that I hold very dear to my heart uh, just because um, I am a perfectionist. So, um, and I know it's very common for, I think, artists in the lettering community to also be perfectionists. So this is just a great practice for my, um, a project reminder to let you tell yourself that you don't need to be perfect as long as you're learning and progressing. That's really all that matters and I'm still learning. So um, let's learn together. And you get to know how to use Tombos as watercolor and do this really cool, simple uh, background wash behind your letters that just makes this project look really pretty, you know? And then obviously with each project, I broke it down to kind of how I think about uh, block lettering and uh, you can, get all those within this box and hopefully I can break it down for you to make it easy for you. The next project is beauty and imperfections because that's all what lettering is about. Uh, we aren't computer fonts. If we were, then it wouldn't be called hand lettering. Um, so just un 
understanding and embracing the imperfections and the uniqueness in your own particular style and learning how to create it, uh, create it and put it on paper. And my favorite thing about this is I get to teach you a couple of tricks on how to um, do serifs, uh, this type of lettering, which serifs are just is a fancy word for like the tiny little lines at the end of letters. So um, I break that down and get to teach you a little bit about that. And that comes with practice sheets as well. And then, then lastly, uh, the last project is rainbow individuality. So uh, kind of the same thing with embracing your imperfections um, in yourself, but this one's really your individual style and um, utilizing a bubble technique that I have developed. There's other people who might use a similar technique, but um, this is also great. Uh, I've used it for script lettering styles, but I also use it uh, to kind of help lay out my block lettering style, um, just to center things and kind of make things more cohesive when you're looking at them. So this one will also be using different blending techniques and uh, just understanding that changing the weight of your letters or the width of them completely changes your style and one of them might suit you even more just those tiny little nuances to really find out who you are as a letterer that is why i am here to really help you find that and embrace that so um, all these projects are kind of like the print so they're not um, script lettering because uh, some people might just be naturally geared towards um, that kind of particular style i actually prefer that style just so then I don't have to worry about thin, thick upstrokes. Um, so hopefully some of you can really relate and resonate with these projects. And I'm so excited to see what you guys do with them. Um, and all of this just comes in this lovely box here with Let's Make Art that you can buy online, um, letsmakeart.com. And um, there will be tutorials that go with it that I'm super excited to um, have you listen in on the laughs, the lessons, and um, all the lettering info. So I hope you really enjoy this and uh, get to really take a piece of me um, with you just because the Let's Make Art community is so great and you guys have done so much for me that um, it was such an honor to do this and give this back to the community. So um, go ahead and buy this and have fun with it and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Bye.